Good afternoon and happy Red Friday. This is Eric with Low VA Rates, excited for the weekend. Uh, and excited to talk to you today about when is a good time to refinance. Simple question, when to refinance? Right now, today. Don't waste any more time. Now I'm gonna back all of that up with some actual data and some opinions. But before I forget, why am I wearing red? Why do I wear red every Friday for these live videos? Well, here at Low VA Rates, we support the military. We love the military and most of our business is built around doing VA home loans. And because of that, we have an outward expression of what we like to call kind of an inward feeling. And on Fridays when we wear red, that R-E-D stands for remembering everyone deployed. And so that's what we're doing. And if you put a hashtag in front of the word red, and then tag low VA rates with a picture of you or a family member or somebody wearing red, you can receive, and I'm not wearing it right now, but some pretty cool swag as we call it. These are shirts, hats, beanies, things from our office that uh, you too can show outwardly your support for those that are serving. So let's get back to when to refinance. I'm gonna get this off of here so as to not confuse anyone. When should we refinance? Now, number one, anytime we can save money. So I'm gonna switch over here. Hopefully you can still see me. Anytime we can save money. Okay, so how do we determine if we can save money? I'll come back over here. I'm moving around the day, kind of active. I'll try to draw a little bit better here. Well, if you can lower your interest rate, you can generally save money. And so one of our most uh, popular loans here at Low VA Rates is the IRRRL. Sounds a little bit like Earl, your uncle Earl. That stands for Interest Rate Reduction Refinance Loan. So if you can lower your rate, you should probably refinance. So here's what sort of rates we're giving today at Low VA Rates on the Earl. We have adjustable rate mortgages as low as 1.75% with a APR somewhere in the high twos. You'll have to speak to a licensed loan officer to get actual, actual APR and interest rate information. So we go all the way down to the 1.75 on an adjustable rate mortgage. And that is known as a hybrid loan if you'd like to research that a little bit on our website. And we have 15 year fixed rates as low as 2.75% fixed. That's a fixed rate for 15 years. APR I think is somewhere right around 3.25. And then we have 30-year fixed rates in the low threes, 3.25 with an APR somewhere around 3.65 or something like that. So if you've got interest rates that are at 3.75 or higher, you should think about refinancing. So I'm going to put that here and I'm going to leave it. If you have an interest rate that is at 3.75% or higher, you should probably think about refinancing today. Now, let's say you've got an interest rate of three and a quarter. You got a really good interest rate. You got it last year before rates started going up. Should you refinance today? Well, that depends on your financial situation. The VA has an amazing loan called the cash out refinance. Now, anytime you hear the word cash out, that means you take the equity that is in your home and you can do a refinance and you can pull equity out of your home in the form of cash. So what we're seeing right now in this great country of ours, unfortunately, credit card rates are pushing 17%. That's the average rate on a credit card. Some of them go higher than that, some of them are lower, but on average, that's what your credit card interest rate is. Did you know, with a VA home loan, you can take all of your credit card debt and pay it off with rates, like I said, in the threes or twos, depending on what program you get approved for. Now we are helping people just like you that are watching pay off 40, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars, believe it or not, of credit card debt or get cash out to do a new swimming pool. You know, summer hopefully is right around the corner. I guess the groundhog saw a shadow yesterday and we're all gonna have a little bit more winter than we want. But you can do home improvements, you can put in a pool, you can take the cash, put it under your mattress. The VA has no restrictions on what you do with this cash. The caveat here is you've got to have some equity in your home. And we have information about this on our blog and on our website. You can also ask us some questions right now live. I'll answer them for you. Or you can come back later and put your questions in this post once we save it to our Facebook wall and we can answer those questions retroactively. So we just said 
If you have a rate that's 3.75% or higher, you may consider refinancing. Or if you have debt, okay? We all have debt. If we have debt, we should consider refinancing. And if you call us up, we can help you determine whether or not you are eligible for this refinance. Other than those two reasons, I guess debt or needs, right? If you need stuff like a swimming pool or new carpet or a new roof or paint, you know, like I said, you can do whatever you want with that cash once you pull it out. So if you've been thinking about refinancing, now is the time to do it. I'm gonna end with some economic information. The Federal Reserve met, I believe two days ago on Wednesday. Uh, they did not raise the federal funds rate. There was a chance that they may raise them. It wasn't high. But more importantly than the fact that they didn't raise them, they kind of changed their tone. In December, they raised rates by 25 basis points, or by 0.25%. And they said that in 2017, they anticipated at least another three interest rate hikes. Now, yesterday, Wednesday, they kind of changed that tone. They didn't take the likelihood of a three interest rate hikes off the table, but based on their message, most economists have now decreased greatly the likelihood that the Federal Reserve will be raising interest rates three times. And though there was an anticipated rate hike coming in March, many economists have now moved that to closer to June. Why? Well, regardless of whether or not you, you know, regardless of how much you support or disapprove or don't support the president here at low VA rates, we believe in he's our man and we're going to wish whoever's in charge of this country the best of luck because we all live here. We're all citizens here, so we need to support who's in charge. That's my personal opinion. What I'm getting at here is some of the things that are happening in the political world right now are causing some uncertainty. And anytime there's uncertainty, whether that's about the refugee plan, about tax reform, about the wall, you name it, there's uncertainty. And with uncertainty, interest rates seem to stay a little bit lower. So as soon as this uncertainty leaves the market, you may see interest rates going up and all of a sudden you're not going to have quite the opportunity to refinance. So I don't want to ramble on a whole lot more. I am going to invite questions. If anybody has them, I'll get notified by uh, someone here in the room. I guess we have a question. Lucas asks, how do I know which refinance program to go with? Lucas, great question. So let's say you've made the decision, hey, I'm above 375 or I have debt or needs. Now, which program do I go with? Quick answer is, if you have a VA home loan right now, and, and just for the record, we also do conventional FHA, USDA, even though our name would lead you to believe that we just do VA loans, we do all of them. We just focus our efforts primarily on the military. So I would call us at our toll-free number. It's down in the comments. It's also all over our Facebook page and our uh, internet page, and it's basically 866 low VA rates. If you call us, we can help you determine with a licensed loan officer which program is best for you because there's lots of them. But specifically, if you're trying to get cash out for debts or needs, you're going to do a VA cash out or a conventional cash out, FHA cash out. If all you're trying to do is lower your rate from let's say 375 down to 3.25 and save money every month on your payment, that's a streamline or an EARL like I already suggested. But great question. We'd like to know people are listening. Any other questions out there? If there are no other questions um, before I bid thee farewell, remember, please wear red on Fridays, wherever you are. Um, it's an outward expression of supporting the troops. Anyone that has a family member serving or if you're watching and you're serving, thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your sacrifice. We here at Low VRH support you and uh, we'd like to help as many of you with your next mortgage as possible. We'll see you next